Hello everyone, here is a question from exercise 2.2, chapter is fraction decimal of class 7. This is the sixth question. Lipika reads a book for 1, 3 by 4 hours every day. She reads the entire book in 6 days. How many hours in all were required by her to read the book? So they have given two things to us. One is how much time she takes, like total she takes 1, 3 by 4 hours every day. Okay, she, for this much time she reads the book. And it took us six days to finish the book, completely reading the book. Like it took us six days to complete the book. We have to find out how much time she took to complete the book. Means we have to find out the time in hours. So we know that first day she took one three by four hours. This is first day. Similarly, second day she took again a one three by four hours. Right? So on up to sixth day, like each day she is taking one three by four hours. Right? So total we have to find out. So we have to add all these numbers. One three by four, we have to add it six times. But you can see that addition is very difficult, right? We can do it, but it's going to take a lot of time to finish it up. So we go instead of adding it, we're gonna multiply. Since we're adding one three by four six times, we're gonna multiply it with six. So six into one three by four. It's same like you adding a two three times instead of adding two plus two plus two, which is equal to six. Instead of adding it, we usually do two into three. That is, you're adding two three times, which is same as six. So instead of adding, we're gonna do multiplication here. We're gonna multiply six one three by four by six because she's taking six days to complete the book so let's start this we're going to write down what we know from the question so time taken to finish a uh, book is six days right she took a total six days and every day she's spending one three by four hours so so it will be lipika reads the book it is 1 3 by 4 hours so it is equal to 1 3 by 4 hours so this is a mixed fraction we're going to convert this into a mixed fraction um, this is a mixed fraction we're going to convert this into improper fraction that is the numerator will be greater than the denominator so for that we have to multiply this denominator and whole number so 4 ones are 4 first we're going to multiply these two numbers whatever answer we got we're going to add up with the numerator so 4 ones are 4 4 plus 3 7 so this is equal to 7 by 4 hours now next and total days she took to finish the book will be six days so total days to complete the book is equal to six days right now we have to find out the total time so total time that is we are finding a total time in hours here we know the number of days but we want the total time that is in how much uh, how many hours it took her to finish the book so total time to finish the book will be equal to we're going to multiply six like i explained you before we're multiplying this with six because she read the book for six days and every day she spent one three by four that is seven by four hours so six into seven by four so here we're going to cancel 6 and 4. Remember when you're cancelling it, you have to cancel number in the numerator and denominator. We can cancel this in two table. 2 3s are 6 and 2 2s are 4. Now multiply the rest of the numbers. So 3 7s are 21 and in the denominator we have a 2. Now 21 by 2 is a uh, improper fraction. Every improper fraction we can write it in a mixed form. So this will be equal to, we know that 2 tens are 20 right so 2 tens are 20 and we require one more right so 1 will be the numerator it's like 2 tens are 20 but we have a 21 so how much more we have to add we have to add 1 so 20 plus 1 so 1 will gonna come in the numerator so 10 1 by 2 hours is the total time to finish the book I hope this question is clear if you have further questions or doubts you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching